biggest thing ever seen on land is a million acre forest stand to see a tree standing mountain tall but two grow up for the one you fall now the safest thing that a man can do is to down a tree make room for two that's the way it used to be till man got the better of the tree trees and a few small men we'll log a couple of acres maybe nine or ten you chop a lifetime in a land of trees and the forest will beat you down to your knees and that's just about the way it was they were logging in the sayward back in the 1800s And the forest went on forever. They were good years, and hard ones too. Blisters for the logging crews. The trees died hard, and it called for skill to float and rail them to the mill. But now man has a way of beating big, and he made that forest dance a jig. Trees, they danced to the loggers' tune, but the tune smith's way was the way to ruin. A billion trees and a few small men log a couple of acres, maybe nine or ten. You chop a lifetime in a land of trees, and the forest will beat you down to your knees. Maybe not. Maybe the trees weren't as big or as tough as the loggers thought. The logged out places were kindling piles giant tinder boxes waiting for any kind of spark to start them burning. And the stage was set. July the 5th in 38 The day was hot and the hour was late The watchman left his log inside And headed home on a speeder ride But one look back and he saw the smoke Now fire in the coal deck was no joke he found a phone, send a crew, he cried. And that was the day that the sea were died. That was the day the sea were died. The day the swamp grass steamed and fried. The day the deer and the grouse sprang up and were strangled to death in the fire's cup. That was the day that the fire crowned rushed through the timber with a whirlwind sound. Jumped the water and ran toward Browns. It burned that man's green timber down. Thirty days at fire burned. Thirty days and the loggers learned that a forest as big as an ocean wide can blaze away like a molten tide. The Forbes land and burned to trucks and cats. Black bear sizzle like frying rats. A thousand men could not stop the flame, but the fire was drowned in the falling rain. The sweat and muscle and human brain couldn't do as much as a summer rain, as a summer rain, as a summer rain. The rain killed it on August 5th. 75,000 acres had been destroyed. The sea were died and the tall black snags were tombstones rising in cindered crags. How do you bring a forest back when the earth is dressed in funeral black? Well, the men they tried, cause the men they learned 
how a forest dies when the sayward burned. So they dropped the snags and cleared the earth. They gave a brand new forest birth. A land of trees burned out by men takes a lot to make it live again. You got to know how it is with trees to lift the forest rustling from its knees. The forest may have lost to man and his machines, but it had won the fight for survival. Laws had been passed and regulations established to protect the trees and restore them. The days of indiscriminate cutting are over. Great care and hard work on the part of the Forest Service and the forest industry brought about a gradual rebirth. Forestry had come into its own. Foresters now have a background of knowledge and are adding to it every day. They know what a forest needs to sustain itself and to grow. A carefully planned program of reforestation, forest maintenance and protection. Even with the best of care, using every technique the Forest Service can bring to bear, a burned out forest doesn't come back overnight. Provincial tree nurseries got their start in the late 1920s, but it took disasters like the Sayward Fire to move the planting program into full gear. After the devastating fires of 1938, the government announced a policy to plant 10,000 acres of logged over or burned over land each year. In the same year, it became compulsory for logging companies to remove slash and cut down snags. These are parent trees, providing improved seed for tomorrow's forests. The resulting seedlings grow faster and become better mature trees than was possible by natural selection. The Sayward Forest now is the scene of a variety of activities. Logging continues, of course. Mature trees are removed from the forest, in keeping with the accepted principles of sustained yield. But campers, hikers, fishermen and hunters keep the loggers company. The Sayward Forest is a fine example of the integrated use of forest lands. 618 square miles of forested terrain dotted with lakes and laced with streams and rivers. The largest continuously planted and reforested area in the province. More than 200 miles of roads extending to every corner of the forest and to the town of Campbell River. This is the forest functioning at its best. Serving the tourist and the outdoorsman and at the same time serving the forest industry. The finest thing anyone can know 
is to breathe the air where the big ones grow. Way to see a tree standing mountain tall, and your worries will just seem pint size small. The trees can change your point of view, and your head's on straight when the day is through. The Forest Service is active in the Sayward as well, occupied not only by the ongoing harvesting and planting programs, but in forestry studies, like those conducted by the Forest Productivity Group. And while the Forest Service searches for better ways to cultivate the forest and increase its growth, large forest companies and contract loggers work side by side, not only to harvest trees, but to remove slash and snags. No one is likely to forget the lesson of the Sayward Fire. Integrated use assures the future of the Sayward Forest. The loggers have learned to clean up behind them. A few campers have not. A million trees and a host of men can log a thousand acres, nine or ten. You treat a forest any way you please and you'll stand in ashes up to your knees. The finest thing anyone can know is to breathe the air where the big ones grow. Way to see a tree standing mountain tall, and your worries will just seem pint size small. The trees can change your point of view, and your head's on straight when the day is through. No longer the traditional kingdom of the logger. The Sayward Forest serves many kinds of people in many different ways. Integrated use is bringing the Sayward back to its full potential. The Sayward's debt is finally paid. We work in pleasure in its shade. Walk the pathways with a sense of pride. When the Sayward died, great things were born. Great things were born Great things were born Great things were born Some great things were born Some great things were born